watch everything that they accuse us of doing, I feel like they're actually doing. Zachary Ty Brown has been living a double life for years, but he won't be able to keep the secret for much longer. This is why people do not like police officers. Well, we I would get back in my truck right now if you let me out of these handcuffs. He keeps getting arrested over and over again, and the charges against him are actually pretty serious. But what exactly has been going on in his private life behind the scenes? And what is his future going to look like? Back in the 90s, Zachary Ty Bryan used to be everyone's favorite teen star. But then his life completely changed. He played Brad on Home Improvement. But after the show ended, we started seeing less and less of him on TV. And eventually, he even quit acting completely. But the person he has become is someone completely different from the young actor we used to know. It's like he just can't stop getting arrested. But the worst part is that every time he does, it's always for something genuinely serious. He's actually been arrested for a DUI four times over the years. You would think he might learn after the first time and just stop driving after he's had some substances. But that's obviously not what happened in Zachary's mind. The first time he got a DUI was actually back in 2004. He wasn't even retired from acting at that point. So it's obvious that his issues go pretty far back. But in the more recent years, it's become obvious that the situation is actually much worse than we thought. He got a second DUI in 2007, then another one in 2017, and another one in 2020. And if you think about it, it's actually kind of crazy that he's managed to collect so many DUIs in this amount of time. It seems like a lot of years, but you have to consider that for a big part of that, he actually most likely couldn't drive because of court orders. So it's almost like whenever his previous DUI consequences ended, he didn't wait very long before getting another DUI. And it's honestly just really concerning that someone has this many repeated DUIs, but they're actually not the only charges that he's been facing. And the rest of it is even more alarming, because in recent years, he also started getting arrested for DV. The first time this happened was in 2020, at least that we know of. According to the documents, there was an incident between him and his girlfriend, Johnny Faye Cartwright. Now, if you've been following Zachary throughout the years, you might be surprised here, because for the longest time, he was actually married to someone else. He and his now ex-wife, Carly Matros, were actually high school sweethearts. They had been married since 2007, and on the outside, things seemed to be going great for them. Zachary was even talking about how he only works part-time because he's a family man and wants to spend time with his wife and kids. They actually had four kids together, and they really looked like a big happy family for years. But that was until everything came crashing down for them, and it was revealed that Zachary had been cheating on Carly. And the person he had been cheating with was none other than Johnny. He actually left his wife and the mother of his children for his young mistress. But it actually gets even worse, because their separation came only a year after Carly had their youngest child. Which most likely means that Zachary was cheating on Carly when they had a newborn baby together, and maybe even when she was pregnant. Zachary announced they were getting a divorce on Instagram. And this is where things get hilarious for a second, because he actually plagiarized the text of the announcement. He just copied it from another actor who had announced a split from his wife right before Zachary. He changed the names and tweaked the details, but obviously people were very quick to notice that the words were not his original thoughts. He actually gave an explanation for this. He said that he just didn't know what to say and he really liked the other actor's announcement, so he just copied it and used it for his own announcement too. Which is obviously not a good move at all and he ended up deleting the post pretty soon. But it was too late. The damage had already been done. And I mean, who does that? Who copies someone else's divorce announcement like it's a homework assignment? But from there, things actually turned pretty dark again. Because this announcement happened only a few months before the first DV allegations came out. And the specific charges against Zachary were actually pretty serious and even scary. Especially the one for strangulation where he allegedly pressed Johnny's neck for about 45 seconds. Later, he actually denied that this never happened. He said that the whole situation got blown out of proportion and that he and Johnny had really just been arguing loudly. He basically tried to make the DV case not seem serious at all. But what Johnny said about it is actually very different. According to her, Zachary had been getting physical with her for about a month at that point. And the court didn't really resolve these allegations because Zachary ended up getting out on a plea deal. Basically, he pled guilty to some smaller charges against him, and in exchange, he got a less serious sentence than he would have for the worst charges against him. But it's obvious that things were super serious, because even despite the plea deal, he actually got a restraining order saying that he had to keep away from Johnny. But that's not what actually ended up happening, because the two of them just kept living together and their relationship got even more serious. A year later, they even got engaged. And what's even worse, they also now have three kids together. But sadly, their relationship didn't just miraculously stop being problematic. Earlier this year, Zachary got arrested again for another DV incident. And I mean, at this point, it's obvious that he's just not getting any better. Someone who gets arrested multiple times for DV should face some much more serious consequences than what Zachary has been facing. I mean, the trial for his newest case is still ongoing, so hopefully he will receive some fair punishment. But more importantly, I hope that in the future he'll be able to stop harming his partner like that. Although with the most recent DV arrest, it wasn't actually officially revealed who was the victim. So it could have technically not been Johnny, but rather someone completely different. But I just don't know how likely that is when it all went down at his and Johnny's house and 
and it's official that the victim was actually a woman, so it really seems like it was probably her. But she actually had a really strange response to all this. Johnny seems to be almost defending Zachary to the media. She implied that Zachary is dealing with a lot of problems from his early life and that he's traumatized. And I guess that in her eyes, that's an excuse for the things he's been doing to her, which is honestly just really alarming, because it's obvious that he's probably carrying a lot of baggage and he's not dealing with it very well. And we know that he's had substance use issues for years. He has said in the past that he had full access to adult-only drinks since he was 14. Everyone just let him in the clubs because he was a star, and obviously he didn't deal with that very well, hence all of the DUIs. But it's not really that relevant to the DV case what kind of mental issues he might be having, because no amount of mental health issues can ever be an excuse to harm another person, much less a domestic partner and the mother of his kids. It's never even remotely okay to do anything close to DV, no matter what's going on. And the fact that Johnny, the actual victim here, seems to be making excuses for him is a huge cause for concern in my opinion, especially after she's been harmed multiple times. But either way, it's obviously a really complicated and sensitive situation, and I just hope that there's no more harm done and that everyone involved can hopefully get to a better place with time. But anyway, what do you guys think? Do you remember Zachary from Home Improvement? And what do you think about all his recent issues? Let me know in the comments below.